Look at how beautiful this is. Now it's a little bit bumpy. I'm trying to go as slow as I can. But we've got a beautiful, beautiful giraffe bull walking alongside us in the long grass, which I think is absolutely lovely. And is a shot that we don't often get to see. So we're just going to try and keep it up while we drive along. A couple of ox peckers running down his long neck to his rear end, where I'm sure that they are, well, the ticks are plentiful. Isn't this stunning? Oh my gosh, giraffe, you're going too slowly. Oh, he's stopping. There he is. How stunning is this giraffe? Now, he is a big boy. I think he's come from the Kruger. He is dark. He's almost completely black. And he's actually the most beautiful looking giraffe because he's the under, undercoat, besides the dark patches, are actually quite light. They're almost white. Can you see that? Which is something that we don't often see on giraffe. Normally, if they've got that ye sort of yellow tinge to them, that tawny tinge, but not this boy. Oh, he's beautiful. Let me try and get up in front of him again before he disappears in the long grass. But you can see how long that those gra the grass is, the way that almost his knees are covered. We'll just jump up ahead again. Hello, boy. And he's so relaxed with us, too. He doesn't actually mind us at all. And starting to hear the ox peckers chirping now, too. Hello, boy. I think he's actually going to cross the road. There we go. Look at this. Look at those lovely long legs. He's actually got clean legs. He doesn't have too many cuts and gashes, which you typically see from an old bull. He's definitely in the prime of his life. Maybe he's just so good at battling, he avoids injury. You never know. Massive Aussie cones again. He's one of the prettier male giraffe I've, I've, I've ever seen. Normally, you look at them, like I said, they've scarred up. They've got gashes all over them. They've got massive cuts. You can see he does have a slight cut on his head, but it's an old injury that's healing. But just in terms of his face, he doesn't seem to have as much of that calcification of all that bone that starts um, to develop over their heads. And that normally helps protect uh, the sensitive areas. And their heads can be almost 10 kilograms heavier after seven years. Can you believe that? Just from calcification of bone. And that's specifically for the male giraffe, not with the females. Right, let's keep up with him. Now, green eyes, I mean, you're hopefully going to get a, a better view now. We'll actually be able to see his color quite nicely because we've gone from looking at him in the sun to now we've got the sun on our side and shining on him quite nicely. I'll just try and sneak over us and give him a bit of room so we don't encourage him to move anymore. Now, Green, as you've asked, how do you age a giraffe? Let me go up a little bit further and get a view from the other side. In practice and, and just sort of experience at looking at giraffe, it can be quite tough. And I'll just get a nice position over here. How's that, Darby? Oh, there we go. Hello, big boy. So... This particular giraffe, just maybe because he doesn't have so many scars, I wouldn't put him as an old bull. I think he's just coming into the prime of his life. So I, I would guess that he's maybe between 12 and 15 years old, somewhere around there. He still can put on a bit of muscle around his neck and his shoulders. Typically, they're quite bulging um, when they are big dominant bulls. And look at his coloration. It's absolutely stunning. Now, with younger giraffe, it's tough. For well, the first six months of a giraffe's uh, life, you'll see that they're ossicones, those little things that are probing up from the top of his skull. Uh, they're actually not solid for the first six months of their life. They eventually will fuse to the base of the skull. Well, you can look for something along those lines. And as the bulls start to age, when they're getting towards 10, you'll see uh, that the hair around the ossicones at the top also starts to wear away. Um, and then you just sort of have to guess. It, it, it's the same thing as if you were to say, look at a horse or a dog or a cat. You know, you should, is there gray hair coming through? Because you definitely see um, the white hairs coming through on older animals. We see it all the time. Scars and injuries are often an indication of older, older animals too. Though younger ones can get bullied and bossed around, which can end in a few scrapes and scars. Uh, and, and, and just size. I mean, a male giraffe can stand at almost five and a half meters tall which is massive, and a female just less than that, about between four and four and a half meters tall. 
So you can also get gauge that. He's I don't think he'll get much taller, but he definitely is going to put on a bit more muscle. And I think this is the first time I've ever seen a giraffe on cheetah plains, and especially out in the open, which is lovely. Now I was hoping we were also going to see some buffalo. There's lots of buffalo tracks, so perhaps we'll go scouting around to have a look. Tristan is still with the lions. Let's go across to Arethusa and have another look.